hey all welcome back to my channel this is a message for virgo sun moon rising and venus okay so i got the image of you guys building on something and it does feel like you guys are going to be receiving a lot of growth with it it feels like you may be guided to kind of like plan accordingly when it comes to something yeah it, it feels like people are kind of like waiting for you to maybe like tell them what what to do it feels like you guys could be being seen as like a leader within your community currently i just pick up on a lot of attention but there's a feeling of you knowing what you're doing and it feels like you guys are also going to be getting like a lot of attention or gaining a lot of something as well i'm again picking up on something that has to do with planning it feels like finishing a job yeah so i feel like you guys are being guided to not slack off i feel like this is the time where you're actually supposed to be doing a lot more because whatever yeah your hard work is going to be paying off so whatever it is that you guys are doing it is going to be gaining like a lot of momentum so it just feels like now is not the time to slack off right because it's like somebody knows that they're supposed to be taking care of stuff but they're still kind of like sitting down or like kind of like lollygagging in some sense but it's like you're very close to achieving a specific goal of yours and if you were to kind of like slow down now, in a sense, you would actually slow down like your progress within something because it feels like there's a lot of things that are already making way, but it feels like you guys are being guided to continue putting up with something, continue doing something for yourselves, right? Because before you know it, you're going to have everything in the palm of your hands, right? Um, It feels like you're being guided not to doubt yourselves. It does feel like you guys may deal with like a lot of overthinking or maybe like being fearful of like being perceived in some way so some of you guys may actually have like a fear of being seen or kind of like fearing that nobody's going to listen to you but there's actually a lot of people that are waiting to hear what you have to say and it feels like constantly checking up on you in some sense too because you're actually inspiring people to make a move when it comes to something it kind of feels like you're doing something and then yeah like somebody else was afraid to do something but because they, they see you doing it it's actually pushing them to want to do more to create more so you are acting as a inspiration to a lot of people currently it just kind of feels like you may need to work on your self-confidence because it's like there could be times where like you're very sure of yourself and then there are times where you're starting to doubt yourself as well yeah and there's like no need for that you're getting a lot of reassurance like yeah, and it feels like some of you guys may even think like, oh, like something isn't good enough or like you need to have like this or that in order to either like implement it. But I feel like you are exactly where you need to be right now and you have everything that you need. You have the tools necessary in order to create the future that you're wanting for yourself. I really feel like you guys are inspiring a lot of people. It just kind of feels like there may be a lot of like projection and there's like a fear of maybe rejection when it comes to something that you guys may be doing for yourselves. This could also be like a whole separate idea because I'm seeing I'm seeing two of something as well. Um you guys are being guided to focus on one thing's first. Make sure like that actually blows up or like it gets off of the ground for you before you decide to implement something else because it actually feels like yeah, you're going to have two um two groups of people or like um two communities of some sense. So, you have one thing that is built for you and the other thing that you're building for yourself. Once this is solidified, you're going to have people also gravitate towards that because you're going to be showing them how it is that you're doing something and what it took for you to really get there. And people are going to be interested in that because people are wanting to know about your story or what it took you to actually get to a certain place or even like a certain mindset as well. So it feels like you're being guided to trust on yourself because it feels like there's a lot more things that you're going to be guided to do. In the meantime, it just feels like focusing on whatever it is that you're building for yourself, right? But um, don't let whatever dreams that you have for yourself die out as well, right? Because you may feel pressured to go and start something else um, in a sense, but I feel like it will also be too soon. So it just feels like really patient because it feels like you may be still developing with yourself. There's something about like your character development or like your confidence in a sense. Like you're going to reach a certain point where you will not doubt yourself at all. It just feels like now may not be the time for you to implement something. It's cool to like drop here and there, drop a little something here and there, but you have one job right now that you're needing to take care of. And when that is solidified, when things are actually laid down within that, then you're able to actually go and invest into something else so it feels like you're being guided to just focus on one thing but it's not a bad idea and i can definitely see this working out for you because i am picking up on a lot of celebration and it is like a, a birthing of a new version of yourself people are not going to be ready to kind of see you break out of your shell like that but a lot of people are also going to be um watching then it, it it does like also like a sense of comparison because 
I'm hearing somebody go like, oh, well, I'm not where they are as well. And they may feel like a certain type of way. And you may even have people that, I guess, like try to disregard you or turn like the other way. But I feel like it's because of how much you have built for yourself and how stable you are currently as well. Because it feels like you guys are really making a name for yourself. It feels like your name could already be spoken in rooms that you have yet to also enter. You guys are going to be meeting a lot of people that are going to help you along the way or to help you kind of like build up in some sense. I feel like there's something about like your confidence or like the way that you may view yourself i do feel like if you guys are practicing like any self-love those are really going to help you um as well it just feels like really focusing on like pouring into yourself currently and continuing doing whatever it is that you guys are doing for yourself there could have been some sort of conflict that you guys have like moved away from or some sort of ending and it feels like really kind of protecting yourself from some sort of conflict that could be going on as well. It kind of feels like these energies want to drag you into it in some way. There could be a sense of someone who sees what you're doing and I feel like this is a very jealous or like envious spirit. And it feels like they are trying to kind of like sabotage you in some way or it just feels like really talking bad on your name. But I feel like people are able to like see where it is that you're coming from with whatever it is that you're speaking on or the fact that you decide to kind of keep your distance because something is happening to another person that's making them think about you. And they're thinking about the fact that you, they have left you previously. This is a situation that has ended already, but like they're definitely thinking about you and how far that you may have came or the fact that they... They watched you go through certain things and you guys managed to, again, like rise above whatever this was as well. And they could have really much put you down from it or like, it's kind of like there was a sense of disregard because now I'm picking up, um, there's like a group of people and they're like talking amongst themselves and you're trying to get their attention, but like they're purposely kind of like ignoring you or you guys could have had like a friend that purposely kind of like turned their back on you in a sense or tried to make you feel as though like oh like you weren't capable or like you weren't a part of something as well i feel like they are feeling like a sense of shame or guilt because they're seeing you again rise above something or to move past something as well it's like it, it kind of feels like they expect you to continue chasing after them or to really want their validation in some sense but now that you guys are distancing yourselves now that you guys are like really sticking to yourselves this person is coming through as like a little bit taken back by that because it's not something that they really expected of you and i feel like they're realizing they really wasn't a good friend to you somebody is realizing that they're, that they're really wasn't a good friend to you and i feel like they are watching you or keeping tabs on you in some sense but they it feels like really not saying anything and i don't really feel like you guys would kind of like respond to this person either way or it's giving like a oh hey i didn't really like see you there kind of energy but again like you're, it's not something that you're going to go back to because it kind of feels like this person wants to be taken under your wing in some sense I honestly feel like they looked at you as somebody who was like very small or somebody that they needed to always kind of like be around, especially if you guys may have like complained a lot about like where you were in life or just like wasn't really happy. It kind of feels like this person took pleasure off of it because you not being in a good position made it feel for them like, well, well, I'm at least I'm not dealing with this or that as well. So it's something like that that's coming through. Um, but I honestly feel like you guys are doing a lot of healing and there's also a switch in perceptive perspective with the way that you guys are viewing yourself it feels like you guys are currently deepening a love with yourself as well and honestly like you guys are releasing a lot of baggage that does not belong to you yeah and it's like somebody is also apologizing for something that they could have done to you as well it's like somebody thought that the grass would be greener on the other side because i'm picking up on a tree that is there but then it's like they're realizing that there was nothing on the tree at all and it was just an illusion and they feel as like they've been tricked in some sense so now they're looking back at you and they're looking at how fulfilled you are and that you're being loved by other people and that you guys are getting a lot of attention this person is very upset about that and it feels like it does feel like purposely like kind of talking bad as your name but that's because they're really upset with the fact that you're moving on and you're not really paying any attention to them some people may feel as though like you're doing certain things like for attention as well but also like you already have all the attention on you so it's like there's really nothing that they can they can also kind of like say to you as well it's like you're living up to whatever it is that people are seeing or whatever it is that you guys are also putting out for yourself as well i feel like that's also why people would rather kind of like turn the other cheek 
or like really not kind of like pay attention to you in some way i feel like it's because of the energy that you guys also exude for yourself as well it just kind of feels like they are not used to the type of person that you are and it's like it's hard for them to also adjust to this new version of you because it's like they're trying to figure out if this new version of you is either like real or fake as well and that's something that i'm also kind of like picking up on right I feel like as you guys begin or continue to kind of like show up as yourself or like love on yourself, people are really not going to like have anything to say. But I do feel like they're discussing the changes that you guys have been making or whatever it is that you guys have also like been building for yourself. And I don't know, like there's a sense of like admiration, but others are really not believing it. Like I feel like they're kind of like waiting for you to kind of slip up. It's really not good energy. I feel like you guys may be guided to kind of like maybe just like look at who it is that's like in your following list for some of you guys because i do pick up on some like envious eyes that are kind of like there as well and i feel like it's really like you're not going to feel comfortable still having the same people around that was really used to a past version of you and that's something that i'm picking up on because it feels like some of you guys may end up trying to kind of like hide yourself due to the fact that past people are not really resonating with the new version of yourself that is also coming through but i do pick up on like a sense of admiration that is there i feel like people may feel as though like you're lost but they're not wanting to pay attention to whatever it is that you guys are building for yourself so like there's a lot of mixed energy that's there it's kind of like people would rather kind of like turn a blind eye when it comes to it even though you guys are doing as you should because i see people that are genuinely enjoying the thing that you guys are doing or like this new version of yourself but then like there's a judgmental group that is there and it's like they're kind of like rolling their eyes and they really feel like it's fake like they feel like it's a facade that you're also putting up with yourself as well so it feels like you're going to be made to distance yourself from certain people you're going yeah your whole group honestly is going to change that's something I'm picking up on because now I'm picking up on like an uneasy kind of feeling or a feeling of anxiety when it comes to something. And I feel like it's because like you guys could also be judging yourselves too harshly now as well. Because it's like I see you guys maybe like looking at your phone, replaying something that you guys are either doing for yourselves. Um, especially if you guys resonate with like maybe like being like a content creator in some way. I feel like it's because you have a lot of eyes on you that aren't agreeing with, yeah, they don't agree with whatever it is that you're doing and they kind of want you to be quiet. Like there's something about your voice and the fact that you're not afraid to kind of like show certain parts of yourself. Again, I just feel like it's not something that they are used to. These people are not used to the version of yourself that you guys are putting out currently. I feel like a lot of these people were also not really comfortable with themselves as well. It kind of feels like you guys are adjusting to like a new life or like a new version of yourself that really isn't afraid to be seen or to put yourself out there. I'm again picking up on a sense of discomfort, but it's not coming from you. It's coming from the people around you as well. It's like I get the image of you guys being like in a crowd of people, like right in the middle and it's like you're doing something and it's like you're having fun but it's like you're paying too close attention to the eyes that are on you because it's like they're giving very much judgmental eyes and then it's like i see you quickly pack everything away and you kind of like judge the you kind of like um mix yourself in the crowd even though like you're clearly shining brighter in a sense as well so there's a message to really not keep yourself small I feel like the discomfort that you guys are feeling is because you guys are growing and shedding a past version of yourselves as well. I feel like, again, there's a lot of things that you guys are going to be coming into. There's a new version of yourself that you guys are currently birthing out. It just feels like not a lot of people are going to approve, but I feel like you're being pushed into this for a reason because you have a bigger purpose. It feels like you guys are meant to do more than one thing, which is why you're going to have a lot of light bulb moments and you're going to see like, okay, here's what I want to implement next as well. But you are going to be guided to remove people from your past because that is not your target audience. 
the people that you guys have known previously or known growing up is not your target audience. So as long as you guys continue to have those people around, you're going to have a sense of discomfort because of that. Because they don't believe that it's real. They've only known one version of you. And you guys are trying to break out of your shell in some way. You guys are trying to kind of like, trying to basically like come into like the, embrace more parts of yourself or step into like that true version of yourself. But again, if you have a lot of people from your past, it, it really gives you guys needing to start fresh when it comes to something. So whatever it is that you guys may want to implement that be that may be new, you guys are being guided to separate yourself from the crowd. You're not going to do it in whatever space that you're currently in. It's really giving starting from fresh. So whatever it is that you guys are doing right now, continue implementing that, continue pouring into that. And then you're going to have something else that you're going to work on for yourself. Some of you guys could have already been thinking about that. But it's a different target audience. It's going to mesh perfectly per perfectly together. But whoever it is that you may have like in your circle or whatever it is, if you guys resonate with being like a content creator and you're like posting like on our old page, these people, they're not going to support you. They're not going to support you. Again, you're going to have a whole new target audience. I feel like people are very proud of you and the changes that you guys have been making because of the fact that you guys are really growing into yourself. So it's like people are definitely seeing the fact that you guys are really growing into yourself. You guys are also like coming into a lot and you guys are loving on yourself more. It just, I pick up on a strong sense of like, this isn't real. And it's not coming from you because I feel like you guys are expressing yourselves in a very different way. It just again feels like whoever your target audience is, is just not meant to like be that. I hope that that makes sense. It's just giving like, those are not your people. It's just not your people. I'm picking up on a strong sense of like discomfort It feels like you guys may need to kind of like do some work internally if you feel that way because there could still be some lingering discomfort with yourself and you're going to be guided to change that which is why you're going to be put in in an uncomfortable kind of like situation or it's like you may really want to do something for yourself but for whatever reason like you're feeling like you can't or like you're feeling like, oh, well, I don't really know like what people will think. You're being guided to just do it. Because I feel like you're going to receive a lot of good and positive feedback when it comes to that as well. I feel like you guys are being guided to continue loving on yourself. To continue doing what you're doing. Because you're not going in the wrong direction. You guys are exactly where you are meant to be. And there's so much more that you guys are going to be coming into it feels like you guys are going to be overcoming some sort of difficulty and then it feels like just being more honest with yourself knowing that okay so like there's still certain things that i may need to work on there's still certain things that i may need to kind of like look at as well and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that the fact that you're recognizing that there's still some things that kind of need to be worked on with yourself is a step in the right direction. But I feel like you're being guided not to doubt yourself. I do feel like people want you to hide and people want you to be uncertain, which is why you may receive a lot of that energy, to be honest. But you guys are being guided to continue doing something for yourself, continue pouring into yourself because you guys are inspiring a lot of people. Don't listen to like the naysayers or like what people are saying like negatively about whatever it is that you guys are doing because I feel like you guys are helping a lot of people or you're like you're opening a lot of eyes. You're opening a lot of eyes when it comes to this. Expect to be uncomfortable when it comes to certain things. It's going to happen. But eventually 
you're going to find yourself like really growing into that really becoming like more in tune with yourself i feel like people don't like the fact that you know yourself and you know yourself very very well and the fact that you're not going to settle people are really hoping that you will stop what you're doing people are honestly hoping that you will be quiet to be honest because the fact that you're speaking up is exposing the insecurities that they may have within themselves, which is why you're going to have people that turn away from you. Yeah, but like whatever discomfort that you guys may feel or like you guys are again like coming through as maybe just like judging yourselves too harshly, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It just again feels like Whoever it is that you're targeting or like the people that you have known previously, they're not going to be your target audience. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're being guided to start anew, do something else. Not like do something else, but like don't have these people kind of like look at that because they're still clinging on to like who you were previously. But you guys are coming into a lot of growth and fulfillment. It does feel like there's going to be a boost within like your finances, especially like in the upcoming weeks for those who may resonate. It feels like whatever it is that you guys are laying down for yourself is coming through as like being very secure as well, right? It just kind of feels like you may have people from your past or like other people that are kind of looking at whatever it is that you're doing and they are silently judging it. And I can feel that because it's an uncomfortable feeling. Like, it's an uncomfortable feeling that I'm picking up on. But you guys are a bit oblivious to that because you guys are coming through as, like, being in your own world currently. But it's a silent judgment. I don't feel like they agree with what you're doing. Again, you're building a community of your own that supports you and supports whatever it is that you're doing. Some of you guys may feel the need to, like, immediately shrink yourself or hide yourself and you're being guided not to. Because you're kind of proving their point when you do that, when you pop in and pop out, because they feel like you have something to hide when you really don't. Sometimes you just need time to yourself, but it's like, it's kind of like they're going, see, I told you, like, they wasn't really like that. I don't know why they're doing all of that. Like, they need to give it up because you guys are hiding yourself due to the eyes that are on you or like this uncomfortable, like, it's an uncomfortable gaze that is on you now that you guys are actually going to be more and more aware of as you continue. You need to continue to show up as your true version of yourself. Otherwise, people are going to feel as though it's not real, even though like there's a there's clearly a new version of yourself that's trying to break free. Other people that have not known you previously, they're looking at you as a leader. They're looking at you as somebody who is giving a lot of um, guidance currently. However, it may resonate for you. It doesn't mean to need to be literal, but it gives a sense of them wanting to kind of like follow in your footsteps because of the fact that you know where you're going. Some people still feel like you're wandering or like you're really uncertain. But you guys are deepening a love with yourself. And I just feel like these people aren't used to that. Like I can see you guys really wanting to kind of like keep to yourself or like the minute that you choose to either like engage in something, it's kind of like they turn away from you. Like there's a sense of disregard. These are not people that you're going to keep. You cannot bring, yeah, you can't bring them over. You can't bring them with you. That old version of yourself or whichever is just, That's not your target audience. You guys are building a community of your own. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, you're doing it on your own. These people are not going to be with you. They're not going to resonate with that. They still feel like you're kind of like wearing a mask of some sort. And I feel like it's because you don't really show yourself and you don't need to. I don't feel like you need to offer them any explanation, really and truly. You can allow them to just think what they would like. But the more that you guys speak up, the more that you guys kind of like do whatever it is that you're doing, they cannot say anything because they're seeing that this is who you truly are. It just feels like you guys hide a lot. So these it kind of leaves these people guessing and it leaves them assuming. Like they can see whatever that you're doing like on the side, but it's not as though like you're very boastful about it. There is a humble energy to you 
And it's almost like spirit is going to tell you not to be humble anymore, to be honest, or to really show out when it comes into, and you're going to receive the opportunity too, because you're about to be very blessed. You are. And I can see that because it's definitely giving your hard work paying off and you guys being rewarded with some sort of windfall. And spirit is going to want you to show that out. Because right now I'm picking up on a lot of energies that are kind of like rolling their eyes when it comes to you. Or like this isn't real. Like, yeah, do you see what they got going on? I don't know who they're fooling kind of energy. Because they don't believe that that version of you is real. Continue putting yourself out there. Continue showing up as yourself. And then I see like they're not going to have anything to say. Honestly, I feel like they are really projecting their fears onto you as well because it's making them feel a bit uncomfortable when it comes to certain things. And that's something that I'm also picking up on. They're going to make it seem as like you're doing too much or like you need to tone it down and you guys don't need to do anything at all. This is really your time to be honest. Because it feels like a lot of you guys could have been very sheltered or very to yourselves for so long. So you're about to enter a point where you're really going to be pushed out to, into the forefront. And you're and there's no backing out of something. I just see like, I see a crowd of people that's really going to be cheering for you. And you're also going to be helping other people step out in some way. You're inspiring them to have a voice of their own. So you need to continue to be confident in yourself. Do not shrink yourself because you are afraid of how you will be perceived or what people will say. There's a lot of things that you guys are going to be coming into, but you need to own it. You need to own this new version of yourself. You need to own who it is that you are. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to love on yourself. They will have no choice but to believe it. I feel like you're sparking insecurities in people where they are realizing, okay, this is what I have to kind of like work on. It's like I'm hearing somebody go like they don't have much, but they're acting like they got it. And you do. It's because you guys know how blessed you are and how much is about to be arriving for you. I feel like you guys need to continue. Don't slack off. I don't really feel like now is the time to slack off. If anything, you guys should be doing much, much more because something is about to get momentum. Don't be afraid of the attention that you guys are going to receive because it's going to be much more than you even expected. And again, I'm seeing two, two things. It's like you guys may have another idea that you will implement and it's going to also shoot off for you. It's giving very much like self-love. Somebody could also be like a motivational speaker. Somebody can make t-shirts if that resonates as well. A lot of the energies that are judging you currently, it really does feel like it has to do with your past. You need to remove them as a whole because they're going to look at you and they're just going to feel as though it's not real and that's it. They, yeah, they don't want you to have any respect for yourself as well. I feel like something is coming through as like you guys were once very easy to come by. And now like suddenly you're coming very rare. You guys are rare. You guys are like a diamond kind of. And I heard like tough cookie to crack as well. I feel like people are noticing just how strong you are. And how much you guys could have like also been through as well. I feel like somebody is seeing you as someone who is very alone and by yourself. But I feel like this is shaping you and molding you into the person that you guys are about to set off to be. So continue to love on yourself and continue to give yourself like that confidence because it's going to get you guys very, very far. I believe that it's you. I feel like you guys could have had like a massive glow up or a massive transformation in some sense. Yeah. And it just feels like you may have energies that are trying to kind of like mirror your energy as well. And that's something that's also coming through. But I feel like there's a, there's a really big message on like them not believing that it's you for whatever reason. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, you're doing it right. Even if they can't stand to see it. So don't shrink yourself again. I don't know. I keep picking up on that. Because I feel like there are energies that try to make you feel like self-conscious. It's as though they feel like you're looking for some sort of like validation in some sense. But you don't need it. Because you're already getting a lot of attention. So it's like why would you think that I would need any validation at all? When I'm already showing up as my true divine self, you're just choosing to ignore it. Is what's really coming through. They have nothing to say to you. 
I just feel like they didn't really think that it was going to be you when it comes to a certain situation because you're surpassing a lot of people. And it's because you were chosen to do so. You guys have actually done the inner work when it comes to certain things. And you guys are continuously doing so. You guys need to continue to have faith in yourself is really what I'm picking up. Yeah. I pick up, I heard like we go all around the world. Some of you guys could be doing something online. It's going to gain traffic fast. You guys are going to find yourself very busy. It's something that you guys should be honestly prepared for because I do pick up on like an overwhelming kind of like sensation that is coming from it because it's something that's going to catch you off guard. But you're quickly going to find some sort of balance. And now people are going to feel like, oh, well, they don't really have any time for me. I feel like people are judging you currently and it does feel like harsh judgment and it does feel a bit hurtful. I feel like it's a lot of people that have like betrayed you. Like there's stuff going around currently of people that have like betrayed you previously. Though I do feel like people are looking at you as some inspiration. It just feels like a lot of this has to do with past energy. Like somebody is thinking that you're not really doing something right for whatever reason. I don't feel like it's any of their business. They don't really have much going on for themselves. It just kind of feels like it's making them feel better to kind of like put you down or to speak poorly on your name for whatever reason again i feel like you guys are being guided not to pay attention to that because you have something coming it's arriving soon is what i'm hearing yeah it's all the things that you guys have asked for the things that people say may hurt you but like you need to remember how far like you came like look at back at how how much you guys have built for yourself and how much you guys have struggled to even get to that point in the first place because you guys are going to be very very proud of yourselves a lot of your support that you're receiving is a lot of outside support. The people that you're looking to, they're not going to give you that recognition. They're not going to want to kind of like pay attention to that. Because again, like they feel like you're just doing it for some sort of income as well. Yeah, they don't, they don't really want to kind of like, it's like a, a harsh reality that they're having to face. Because now they're looking at themselves and they're like, oh, well... I don't really feel like I'm doing this or that right. If they never gave you like the recognition before, they're not going to do it now. So just keep that in mind. Again, like this is past energy. I'm picking up on like a lot of like old friends or like maybe even people from school, co-workers. It's a lot of past energy that's coming through. They, it's like they were not really supportive of your dream. The ones that are supportive, you're going to see them actually like respond to you in some way. It's like a silent supporter. You guys are going to also gain like some sort of huge following when it comes to something. It feels like it's something that you could have also already envisioned for yourself. Or if you guys resonate with having a vision board, that is something that is also coming through. But um, it feels like you guys have a lot going on for yourself. It just feels like there's a lot of people that's in your energy that's coming through as like whispering currently. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to give them attention. I'm not going to get. But you didn't even ask for it. It feels like these people were on you. And now like you're stepping up to the plate when it comes to something or you're embodying like more of yourself. They're like, oh, well, they're doing too much. I'm going to go over here. So, yeah, like it's very odd. But again, like these are past energies. It doesn't really feel like you guys are going to be connecting with them either way. You're going to have something to show for all of the work that you guys have done on yourself. And people are going to see that. Because I feel like people are also expecting you to maybe like give up on your dream when it comes to something. Because it feels like, oh, like you're reaching too far. Or like, yeah, like you're reaching too far when it comes to something. You needed to give yourself time for something to grow. And you guys are about to receive like the results when it comes to that. I feel like you guys are currently being like heavily supported or heavily looked after. So it does like just continuing to do whatever it is that you guys are doing currently. Your needs are going to be met. Your wishes are also going to be fulfilled. Some of you guys are actually getting ready to close out a very um, specific chapter. The month of March is very significant. I feel like you guys are really going to get everything that you're asking for. Don't let these people, don't let these people try to make you feel any, any type of way. These past individuals were not meant to be there for you. Of course, they're not going to feel like you're real. Of course, they're going to feel like you're only doing something for monetary gain. Meanwhile, you're healing yourself through the work that you're doing. You're healing others through the work that you guys are doing. There's an apologetic energy that's coming through. And that is as they're seeing something take off for you. 
because there's going to reach a point where these people are not going to be able to escape you for whatever reason or whatever that you guys do because it, it feels like you guys are going to continue popping up on people's timelines that's really what it is they don't want to see you loving on yourself they don't that's all you guys are going to be creating a community of your own. You guys are going to have a family of your own. You guys have nothing to worry about. Because your wishes are going to be fulfilled. The month of February and March are very significant to someone. Somebody could have also like had like a baby shower. Or you may be going to one as well. I don't feel like they really want you there. Like, there's a sense of you guys getting invited out places, but I feel like it's just so they can take from you. And then, like, there's, like, a sense of disregard and you're going to feel left out in the cold. So, if you have a, if you, if you have been invited out somewhere and you've been kind of debating on going, don't go. Because they don't believe that it's the real you. For whatever reason, they, I don't know, like, there's, like, a sense of disregard. There's a sense of disregard. I just feel like somebody is, they still feel like they're above you in whatever way. Again these past energies they're not going these people that have known you previously they're not going to be the ones that's going to uplift you or support you in some sense so you're just being guided to continue doing what you guys are doing because you guys are leaving your mark yeah you guys are going to have people around that genuinely support you and that genuinely want to have you around and not just for like what it is that you guys have yeah just don't pay attention to any kind of like negative responses as well. Because I pick up on a sense of nervousness whenever it is that you guys do something for those who may resonate. But it's not even coming from you. It's just I hear somebody suck their teeth when they look at your stuff. And it's like you pick up on it. You guys could be very high priestess energy. You guys could be very intuitive. You guys are picking up on the things that people are saying about you. Which is why you get fearful. Which is why you start to shrink yourself. And then like you disappear. And it's like people like that. They don't want you to show yourself. They don't want you to be yourself. Continue to irritate these people. Continue to, continue to step up for yourself. Because they're bothered. That's the problem. That's their issue. That has nothing to do with you. They're very bothered by the change that you guys are making. Continue to empower yourself. And love on yourself. They're going to have no choice but to watch you. And I promise you they're going to watch you. Because they're going to continue to speak and speak. But they're the first ones on your page whenever it is that you upload, whenever it is that you're doing this or that. They're watching you. Don't ever let nobody make you feel a certain type of way. I feel it so strongly for somebody, please. Because it feels like you guys pick up on things so strongly. Yeah, you do. Because it's like somebody just wants you to stop. They want you to stop. That's why whenever it is that you're gone, they're like, oh, like, here they go again. Like, how can you be here one day and gone the next? Like, pick pick what you want to do is what I'm picking up from somebody. They don't want you to show yourself. They don't want you to be yourself. I don't feel like people want you to even tell your story. Continue doing what you got to do. Eventually, you're going to kind of shake off that uncomfortableness because that's how secure in yourself you're going to be. You guys are already getting there. So, yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to leave that reading there. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support. If this resonates, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you feel so as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.